Welcome back, Tool Fans. This week, we're at World of Concrete 2023, and we get to see brand new stuff from Hilti, Milwaukee, and Bosch. All that and more coming up on part two of the Tool Show. Okay, guys, so we're here in the Makita booth at World of Concrete 2023. There is a ton of stuff going on in every direction. So before we start jumping into the tools, we're going to jump over here with my buddy Wayne. We're going to find out what's going on, Makita. Wayne, it's so great to see you. Hey, Robert. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. So, again, lots of stuff going on. Every what's going on with Makita this year? Well, number one, this is our favorite trade show because we get to run tools for three days. And the punchline for us, for Makita at this show, is more battery powered products that can replace products powered by cords and by gasoline. Sure, sure. So and to that end, it's all about XGT. I was gonna say, I see a lot of new XGT. What, why is XGT such a big focus right now? XGT is one system that takes you from handheld up to equipment like rotary hammers and power cutters. Because you can and double it, them up to like 80 volt, right? That's right, and it's one battery. So look, if you're into the XGT system, you get handheld like impact drivers. You also get rotary hammers, demolition hammers, even 14 inch power cutters. And that's remarkable. It's one system, one yeah. battery that takes you from an impact driver up to that 14 inch power cutter. And in one year, well, it's been about a year and a half since launch, coming up on two years, we'll have 125 XGT products in 2023. Not bad for just two years. Yes, indeed. I'm excited to see what comes next. Do you wanna go look at some tools? Let's go. All right. And here's a new release, pretty exciting. New addition to the XGT system. Uh, that's this is our XGT uh, concrete vibrator. It's available in, with a five and a half foot whip and also an eight foot whip. It is powered by one XGT battery. This one's running our eight amp hour battery. It's got a nice cover to keep uh, concrete from fouling your, uh, your battery investment. We're looking at about an hour of runtime on a single charge and about 15,000 vibrations per minute. And that's gonna help uh, strengthen your concrete. And that's available now. Hello, my name is Yong Hua. I'm with Milwaukee Tool. Today I'm excited to introduce two new products that we'll be launching in Q4 of this year. First, we have the MX Fuel 24 inch walk behind edging trowel. Over there, we have the MX Fuel 36 inch walk behind trowel. Each trowel delivers five horsepower performance, no gas headaches. Runtime on this machine here is 35 minutes full throttle per charge. It'll come with two batteries as well as a charger. The MX Fuel 36 inch walk behind trowel over there. Runtime full throttle is 25 minutes per charge. It'll come with three batteries and a charger as well. Both are powered by our MX Fuel Red Lithium batteries, which means there's absolutely no gas emissions. So you have the confidence and ease to trowel indoors and have a more safer and comfortable trawling experience outdoors as well. I'm Anastasia here at Bosch, ready to tell you about our brand new mid-torque impact wrench. It is the GDS 18B 330C. That means you get 330 foot-pounds of max tightening torque and 590 foot-pounds max breakaway torque. It has a half-inch anvil with a friction ring and through hole for user preference. And then it has three speed settings so you can really dial in the power to the specific application that you're doing. On top of that, you'll notice there's A and B modes on the HMI, and A, mo a is metal bolt mode. That has auto slowdown, so it slows the tool down when you're getting closer to the fastener to really be able to control the driving depth of the fastener. Mode B is for wooden screws, and what that does it is it has auto stop. It stops the fastener once it's flush with the work piece to prevent overdriving. That is our GS18B 330C. Let's give it a try. Thank you guys. This is our new carpentry saw, the KS18LTX66BL. The 66 means it has 66 millimeters or a little bit more than two and a half inches of cutting capacity with a six and a half inch blade. The fun thing about this guy is that it is set up to ride our rails. So not only will it ride our regular FS series, we have a new KFS right here. This is our cross cut rail. He slides right in here. This becomes, oh, 
this becomes an angle cutting machine right now. So if you see here, we have all different angles, 60 degrees both ways. And what you do is you loosen up this nut and you decide which angle you want. So let's say you want to do a 45 degree angle. You tighten up your nut here. And now the angle is determined by these two pegs here. So when you place these against your material, you'll get a perfect 45 degree angle. You don't have to worry about it. This also has a, uh, this also has a spring return on here. So when you're done with your cut, it comes back for you and you're ready for the next cut. Another cool thing about this is you can do an angle, loosen this guy up. We have it set up specially to not hit the track when you're doing an angle. Another cool thing that I love about this is you get to push down this button here and it moves your guard out of the way. And another cool thing is uh, your vacuum attachment. It swivels on here so however you need to put your hose, you're good to go. So that's the new KS18 LTX 66BL. So while tons and tons of the show are outside, yes. right, where yes. all the big equipment is, all plus the crazy all, the tool, all the tool groups are, there are massive, massive indoor areas as well that have all kinds of booths that have, I mean, most things are obviously focused on concrete, right? Yes. But we see tons of tools and innovations too. So while we're in here, we're gonna try to pick out a few things that we really like that we think you guys might like too. All right guys, I don't know what this thing is, but I need one, so let's go find out. Hey Mike, I'm Rob, yeah, Mike, nice right. to meet you. Nice so to meet you, Rob. tell me, what exactly is this thing and how much is it? This is a SH7218 and it's a sand heater. 7218 is a good and one, it, I've and heard, it, yeah. Looks good. And it sells for $269,000. $269,000 and I can heat all the sand I want. All the sand you want. All right, I'm gonna get back to you. Really? Uh, do you have like a payment plan or? We do, absolutely for you. I'll I'll talk to you about it later. All right. Come see me. Hi, my name is Josh Clunas out here at World of Concrete exhibiting our Redline Systems conveyors. Uh, this is uh, one of our most popular conveyors. Uh, it's our portable RM2318. The reason we come out to the concrete show is because most of our customers will buy this to load steel fibers, steel re reinforcement fibers uh, into their mixers. Um, They'll put ice in, ice in the mixers in the summertime to keep mixes cool. Um, we designed this thing uh, several years ago. It, we've got a, a bunch of things that are specific for ready mix. We've got this, uh, this hopper loading deck. Uh, it's got a little blade on there for ripping bags open so it dumps directly into the hopper. Um, it's, uh, it's real versatile. You know, We have a lot of customers that use it for uh, dry aggregates, uh, all kinds of things. Um, and it just runs on a 110 horsepower motor and uh, it's uh, real versatile. You know, we could put larger motors on it. If you have any questions about it, contact me through uh, our website, redlinesystems.com. Uh, you can also find us on YouTube at Redline Systems. Uh, looking forward to meeting you. I'm Tom Ludwig with Bullard and I just wanted to talk a little bit about Bullard's safety focus. So Bullard invented the hard hat in 1919. 1932, we also invented the blasting respirator when we were helping with the building of the Golden Gate Bridge. So the company was founded in California back then. Now we're in Kentucky, but everything we do is made in the United States. Nothing is imported and nothing is built other than here. So what we're gonna to discuss today is uh, the blasting respirator. So if you are in any type of manufacturing facility, what you need to do is clean the raw material, raw metal, before you paint it. In that process, you have to have a blasting respirator on, and your airline has to be connected to a carbon monoxide monitor. So the theory here is that you will check the airline to make sure there is no CO going down to the worker. The new design for this unit in the past all of these monitors have been closed boxes with no data on them. The new design now has a clear screen that's digitized. It will change color based on red, green, and yellow, whether it's dangerous or whether it's in alarm mode. And it automatically, from the get-go, tells the worker, is he safe, is he not safe, and how it's working and how it's protecting. 
The other thing that we're excited about is in the industry now, we're getting a lot of requests for this climbing style of hard hat versus the old style of hard hat. So this is clearly much more expensive, but the design here is that in slips, trips, and falls with the chin strap, how it's being mounted and how it is held on the head, it is going to keep all of the workers safer, longer term, keep them in, in better position. We also can do logos, front, side, back, striping of any type, style, and any shape. If you need any more information about Bullard, just go to bullard.com and we'll be glad to get the data to you. Hi, I'm Guillaume. We're at World of Concrete 23 with Converge and DeWalt with the launch of the signal sensor. Our technology allows us to manage and uh, predict compressive strength of concrete by measuring the internal temperature of your pore. We attach a sensor to the rebar and it's going to take the data and send it to the cloud by collecting it with a cellular gateway. Why is that important? Well, it allows us to measure in real time the compressive strength of your pore. So we know the PSI and the temperature of your pore. Beyond that, we have an AI that predicts the strength of your concrete and tells you when your concrete will reach critical strength. So you can plan ahead and mobilize your teams ahead of time and be proactive rather than reactive. What else is amazing? Well, we want to decarbonize concrete. It's responsible for 8% of global CO2. So if your concrete is overperformant, it has too much cement. We want to pull back some of that cement. By knowing the performance in real time, we can say, hey, we can design a better mix. Let's pull some of that cement out, get a more efficient CO2 mix but it's while still meeting your schedule and needs. Mike here at World of Concrete 2023 in the Bosch Power Tools booth. I'm excited to talk to you about the GBH 18V-40C, our hero product here. This is an inch and five ace SDS Max rotary hammer. It's got a rotary function as well as chipping and chiseling on the top with the selector dial. If you choose to use this tool in chiseling mode, you can actually put it into something called Vario Lock, which allows you to take any type of directional bit and choose which position it fits into so that you can go to the work and don't have to have the work come to you. On top of that, you see this red button here. When you're in that chipping function, you can actually lock the tool on to be able to uh, do long run applications without having to worry about having your hand on the trigger while you're chipping all day long. Now, when we get to the rotary hammer side of it, like I said, this tool offers 6.7 foot-pounds of concrete crushing power. That's more than our corded counterpart we have. This is a Pro Factor tool, which means it runs off of the bi-turbo brushless motor paired with the core 18V 8 amp hour and 12 amp hour batteries. This tool comes with a lot of features on it. It has a user interface system that allows you to choose your auto favorite or start. Auto gives you full power straight from the beginning, or you can go into the soft start feature, which goes from zero to 80% for working in any type of softer materials like brick or block. Now, what everyone asks is what happens when I hit rebar or what happens when I get behind concrete and I don't know what's there. This tool also has kickback control on it, which helps stop, prevent a bind situation. And I'm gonna quickly demonstrate that for you. So as you can see on the back here, the light actually flashes red for a user on the user interface system to be able to tell that they've hit, been into a kickback position. All you've got to do to reset it is let go of the trigger and you're good to go. This tool is going to be available in February. Let's demo it out. Okay, we've got a few more tools we want to show you, but first we want to jump in and tell you about this week's Platinum Tool Deal. This week, Ohio Power Tool was so impressed with what they saw at the Makita booth at World of Concrete that they decided to offer you $40 off any $100 purchase of any in-stock Makita tools. Now remember, the code is good for only 25 users, so act real fast. Oh, and we wanted to quickly tell you about this ridiculous coffee. Yeah, Cub Cadet has launched a limited edition 3X coffee inspired by their Cub Cadet 3X snowblowers. They know that sometimes you have to clear feet of snow, not inches. So to help you, they're offering this delicious coffee with three times the caffeine. Is that any good? Oh my God. <laughs> we just opened our bag and made a quick pour over to give it a try. And where did, she's, uh, she's outside shoveling the snow. 
So I guess it works. You have just four days to head to Cub Cadet's website and enter to get your own. Good luck. Now, back to the world of concrete. Hi, Rudy Jansen, product manager with Makita. We're at Roller Concrete. We have our GSR-01, our 40 volt XGT, orbital reciprocating saw. This has orbital function, the up to five speed, going up to 3000 SPM. It also is equipped with AVT, that's our anti-vibration technology, to increase user comfort when operating the saw. So the demo that we're gonna go through, we're gonna go against the M18 Super Sawzall. Each saw is gonna be weighted with 10 pounds. Here we have our GSR-01. This is our seven and a quarter rear handle circular saw. So this is equivalent to a 15 amp corded unit. And we're confident that we could displace corded with this saw. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a uh, cut. This is three quarter inch plywood stacked three times. This saw is now available in a bare tool configuration and a kit configuration with our four amp battery. So what I have here is the SC4 MR22. M meaning metal, R meaning right. So it's a right bladed metal saw. It's miniature, right? It's our compact metal saw, five and three eighths inch blade. What we like about this saw is that it's designed for anybody that's working in an overhead environment or just needs something that's compact. It's only about five pounds max with a battery. I use it overhead and it's designed to be only one-handed. So you're not gonna get in trouble if you don't have two hands on this tool. It's designed to be one-handed. It's powerful, it's got the same power that we see in six and a half inch, seven and a quarter inch saws. Let me show you though, let me go ahead and cut this piece of rebar. It's coming out in March, we can't be more excited. So here I have the AG6022 angle grinder. You'll notice that it has a SenseTech technology about this. What we love about SenseTech is it makes everything safer. We're all about safety, especially with angle grinders. What SenseTech does is whenever your hand is on the tool, it will work. But even if it's running and you take your hand off or it falls, immediately this will turn off. So it's basically like the safety of a dead man switch, but even safer because you can't even zip tie it to keep it working. Another thing you have on this tool is what we call 3D ATC. That's called active torque control in the 3D area. No matter which way I, I jolt my tool, whether I'm cutting and it goes down, left, right, up, this tool will also stop automatically to make sure you protect the worker. We're all about protection and safety at Hilti. Let me do a cut real quick so you can see it. It's, this is fun. Enjoy, it's on the market. How's it going guys? I'm Tyler Brown, the Associate Product Manager here at Makita, and I'm here to show you our premier lighting program that we have. So right over here we have our ML009G. These are our 10,000 lumen uh, lights. They offer the um, XGT and LXT platform. Uh, we have the ML005G and the 3G on that one. These lights are great for any job site or any project that you're going to be working on. Uh, behind us, we have our LXT stand lights. So we have the adjustable, um, the adjustable head on this one, and then the standard head on that one. And then over here, we have our newest tool, our ML010G upright light in our XGT platform. So this has two battery bays for the XGT and two battery bays for the LXT, as well as uh, AC inlet and outlet, so you can chain multiple of them together. This will light your entire job site and never fall over. For the availability, all of these are available right now. All right, guys, so we have our cooler line here. As many of you guys have seen, they're great for heating and warming those food items, but in those colder climates, these are perfect for heating the silicone and caulk uh, so that you can maintain the, the internal temperature of viscosity with no problems. Uh, we have our 50 liter down here, our 20 liter and our seven liter. These are gonna be available in the next year or so. Um, so run out and grab them. Just recently available, we have three new LED lights. We have a 2000 series, 
So this is two, 2,000 lumens. It runs on either 12 or 18 volt. We have 4,000. This is 18 volt only. And we also have 10,000 right here. This one will run off of a 18 volt battery or plugs in right into the wall. So with all three of these, we have different uh, mounting angles. You can, you can put on the floor like this. You can put them on a tripod. Uh, this one has a hook and they are all magnetic. So there's different options for how you want to mount it. And they also have uh, kind of different settings on a dial for all of them. So you can go from lower light or make it more bright, whatever you need on the job site. Um, we also have USB charging capabilities. Oh, awesome. Another item that's coming out later on this year is we have our Duo. So this is 5,000 lumens with uh, adjustable anywhere you want it, a uh, nice tower system. You put it at any angle and it runs off of a battery, folds up into a tiny compact size right there. Very small. So that's our BSA series. Uh, and there are, most of them are available now. All right guys, so we're back inside again because we're gonna stop over and talk to our friends at Klein and see what new stuff they have to show. Hi, it's Tom O'Brien here at the World of Concrete. I have a couple new products I'd like to show you. First off is our high heat hard hat. This is a classic brown hard hat, the American Bridge design that we've made a couple of improvements to. One, you see the ports that uh, are attached to the outside of the hard hat, allow you to put your uh, headlamps or safety lamps right on there with no straps. But the real magic is happens inside when you look at the interior. This thing is super comfortable. The sweat band on the front end is about 270 degrees, breathable, antimicrobial, doesn't stink. It goes over a very flexible uh, headband so it evaporates the sweat and is, it, it uh, conforms to your head, not the other way around. Uh, these are both removable and washable. Uh, another thing is the ratcheting uh, back mechanism with a silicone strap inside and a large uh, ratcheting knob so you can adjust that helmet tension. And the, and the teeth on this are rated 50 foot pounds so they're not gonna snap off when you crank it down over a winter hat or winter gear. The other item I wanna show you is our new knee pad sleeves. We have a full line of knee pads, but these are the ones I'm most excited about. So they're a gel filled pad that you can slip on as a sleeve, very breathable back, no straps, no cutting, no, no uh, excess heat as you're wearing them. You can put them on in the morning under your pants as, as, as your standard work gear, or you can pull them over your, your, your pants during the, during the day at the job site. But uh, great new product, extended reach, goes over your patella and down over to the top of your shin. So it's gonna be a very, very comfortable knee pad to wear. This is a great product. It's available at all your local distributions. Pick them up today. Another great product we have here at the World of Concrete is our Power Hub One. This allows you to have a work light that gives you a 75 degree to a negative 15 degree tilt to allow you to direct light where you need it. But the unit is powered by a 12 gauge extension cord that plugs into the back that now allows all the power that is inside this power hub to be GFI protected. And that is where you have your GFI test switch and reset button. It also allows you to plug in USB C's and A's to charge your phones, your tablets, any other pieces. Six outlets, three on the front, three on the side that allow you to plug in various uh, devices. The back handles also function as a wrap for your cord, so you can go ahead and wrap your cord and take it all out all at one. Very sturdy unit, 18 inches square, very stable, so it's going to be able to give you uh, power and light at the source on your job. Great product. Pick it up today. All right. Hi, Kevin Oberly from Keen Utility, and I'm here to talk to you about the new Fort Wayne boot today. Uh, this boot we're gonna, is going to be coming out in spring of 2023, and it's our reimagining of a mock toe wedge boot. Uh, what we've done with this here is um, the, traditionally in a uh, what you see in a, a mock toe wedge is a, a Goodyear welt usually. What we've done here is we're doing direct attach, so that means a couple things. It's going to be more comfortable. Um, for you when you put it on and wear it all day. It's also going to be uh, that it's going to be more durable. Um, we've also added another great feature. A lot of times what happens on what you see on uh, wedge boots is before even the, the cushioning or the rest of the upper will wear out, you'll wear out your toe. 
you're down there, you're rubbing the toe, and a lot of times you'll see it gets worn through um, before everything else, before anything else on the shoe. And while some people might do um, might do the dip or might do the you know paint on the uh, the toe protection, what we've done is brought our uh, the Keen Utility toe protection that we're known for and brought it into the first time ever into a uh, into a wedge boot. So we've got that protection. It's going to be more comfortable, no more durable. This will also be a first to market in a direct attach mock toe wedge boot. Also, we're going to bring to you this spring from King Utility is our new Reno boot. Um, this is a great uh, boot that will fit right between our athletic work boots or our athletic work sneakers and our traditional work hikers. So what you're going to get here is a little, it's going to be a little bit lighter, it's going to be a little more flexible, and uh, it's going to give you a little bit some great capability. Um, we've got We've got in here a chuck full of our Keen technologies. We've got Keen Regen in the midsole, so not only is it going to absorb uh, impact, it's also going to return your energy. Um, we've also got we've got the toe protection there. We've got an, a, a non-abrasive uh, mesh upper. We've done some 3D printing with that, which also, in addition to making it lighter weight, also makes it uh, more durable. We've got our Keen Bellows Flex here, which, as you can see, is when you flex, you'll add that. Um, these all, we've got a number of different styles. We have both high top and low tops. You can see some, a couple other ones right over here. Um, and it will come in a number of different colors and uh, they're all waterproof. So they're great indoor, outdoor. This is gonna give you a lot of versatility, whether you're working in a warehouse, whether you're working outside, um, you're gonna, it's gonna be able to take you a lot of places. We're also trying to kind of play into that athletic, uh, outdoor athletic aesthetic that you see that's really popular right now. So it's got very much a, a, a fast look and a, uh, a great look, that, that's a look that's gonna be really versatile and look great on your feet, whether you're at work or whether you're running some errands after work or grabbing a drink. Find out more on keenutility.com. My name is Rufus Richardson. I'm a commercial product manager, and we're here to introduce the GEC01 80 volt XGT 14 inch power cut. This thing has power, it's a beast, 75.6 cc. Ultimately, what we're here to do, we're here to displace gas when gas engines are, are not able to be used in the market. Let's see it in action. It's available now in stores. All right, guys, that has got to be enough for us for this trip. It was three days of packed with content, and I still feel like we probably missed something. We probably could have spent another three days here Easily. and seen way more, but hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions about anything that you saw on the show, either the part one or this part two, leave the question down in the comments. We'll do our best to get an answer for you. I want to thank Skill and Spider for continuing to support our show and the community of tool fans that follow. All right, guys, go do something kind for someone else this weekend, and we'll see you next week.